Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what is min term and what is max term. What is the difference between min term and max term? How many number of min terms are possible? How many number of max terms are possible? How we are representing the min terms? How we are representing the max terms? That are the points we have to discuss in this video. Okay. So before going to the definition of min term. Okay. First of all, uh, what is the product term? Okay. Suppose I am taking a function f of a comma b comma c. This function contains how many number of variables? Three variables that are a, b and c. So therefore n is equal to 3. Okay. Now I am taking variable a directly. Next complement of variable b I am taken. Next complement of variable c I am taken. Okay. I am taken variable a directly. Complement of variable b I am taken. Complement of variable C I am taken. The product of these three variables becomes A, B bar, C bar. So then it becomes a product term. This product term contains all the variables of the given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. So variable A is uncomplemented. Variable B is complemented. Variable C is complemented. Okay. So this is one product term. It contains all the variables of a given function. Either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Then that product term can be, can be called as a min term. That product term can be called as a min term. Now we can go for the definition. A min term is a product term which consists of all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Okay. Next, I am taking another one. So variable complement of variable A is taken that is A bar. Complement of variable B is taken that is B bar. Next complement of variable C is taken that is C bar. The product of complement of variable A, complement of variable B, complement of variable C can be called as a product term. That product term contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Here three variables are in complemented form. So this is a product term. This product term contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Then this product term can be called as a min term. That means a min term contains only the product terms. A min term contains only the product term. Each and every product term contains how many number of variables are there in the given function? So each and every min term contains all the variables of the given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Okay. So this is the uh, definition of the min term. So a min term contains only the product terms. Okay. A product term which contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Then that product term can be called as a min term. Okay. Next, how many number of min terms are possible? Suppose here the given function contains three variables then n is equal to three. Okay, how many number of min terms are possible? 2 power n, where n is nothing but number of variables of a given function. So n is equal to 3, that is 2 power 3, 
that is 8. Okay. 8 mean terms are denoted by M0 to M7. Here small m is used for denoting the mean terms. Okay. 8 mean terms are possible when number of variables in a given function is 3. So 2 power n that is 2 power 3 that is 8 m0 to m7. Okay. Here I am writing whenever n is equal to 3, 8 mean terms are possible m0, m1, m2, m3, m4, m5, m6 and m7. Suppose n is equal to 4, 2 power 4 that is 16, m0 to m15. Okay. Next one. Here in the suffix of m, one integer is there. That integer can be represented in binary form with, a, with 3 bits because n is equal to 3. Okay. So, here 0 is there. It can be represented 0, 0, 0, 0. Here m1, 1 can be represented in 3 bit binary form 0, 0, 1. Here 2, 2 can be represented in 3 bit binary form. Here 3, 3 can be represented in 3 bit binary form. Here 4, 4 can be represented in 3 bit binary form. 5, 5 can be represented in 3 bit binary form. 6, 6 can be represented in 3 bit binary form. 7, 7 can be represented in 3 bit binary form. Here, the first column, the first column. Uh, the first column belongs to variable C. Second column belongs to here. Second column belongs to variable B. Third column belongs to variable A. Suppose here the third column belongs to variable A. A value 0 means we are writing A bar. B value 0 means we are writing B bar. C value 0 means we are writing C bar. Okay. Next one, 0, 0, 1. A value 0 means A bar. B value 0 means B bar. C value 1 means C. Okay. Next one, 0, 1, 0. A bar, B, C bar. The same procedure we have to follow. 0, 1, 1. So, A bar, B, C. 1, 0, 0. A, B bar, C bar. Okay. Next one, 0, 1. A, B bar, C. 1, 1, 0. A, B, C bar. 1, 1, 1. A, B, C. Okay. Number of, number of variables n is equal to 3. Here how many number of mean terms are possible 2 power n. So here that is M0 to M7. Okay. Here n is equal to 3. So 2 power 3. That is equal to 8 mean terms are possible. Okay. So, this is the description about uh, what is a mean term, how we are representing the mean terms in binary form, how we are representing the mean terms in product term form. Okay. Suppose n value is equal to 4, how many number of mean terms are possible? 2 power 4, that is 16 mean terms are possible. So, 16 mean terms starting from m naught ending with m15. Okay. So, here n is equal to 4 means. So, in the suffix whatever the integer number is there that can be represented in 4 bit binary form. Okay. Next one. Now, we can go for max term. Okay. Max term contains only some terms. Okay. A sum term which contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Suppose f of a comma b comma c. So this function contains three variables. Okay. Now I am taking variable a is complemented. Now I am taking variable b directly. Now I am taking variable c directly. Okay. Now sum of these three variables that is a bar, b and c. So, a bar plus b plus c. This is called as a sum term. Okay. This sum term contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. So, whenever one sum term is called as a max term, first we have to check 
it contains all the variables of a given function or not. If it contains all the variables of a given function, we have to check which variable is complemented, which variable is uncomplemented. Okay, that is, uh, that is to be observed immediately. Okay, next one, next I am taking another term, I am taking variable A is complemented, variable B is complemented, variable C is uncomplemented. Now, sum of these three variables, A bar plus B bar plus C, okay, it contains all the variables of a given function, either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. Then, it is called as a sum term. This sum term is called as a max term because it contains all the variables of a given function. Okay. Number of variables in function f is 3. So that means n is equal to 3. Number of max terms are possible 2 power n that is 2 power 3 that is equal to 8 max terms are possible. So max terms are denoted by a capital M. That means M0 to 2, M7. Total 8 main terms are possible. Okay. So max terms are denoted by capital M. So M0 to M7, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. Okay. These are the max terms. Next one. In the suffix, integer 0 is there that can be represented in 3 bit binary form because n is equal to 3. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, some term here 0 is nothing but I am taking a. So, this is the opposite to min terms. Okay. Here 0 means b. Here 0 means C. The first term corresponding to letter A. Second term belongs to variable B. Third column belongs to variable C. Here 0 means directly I am taking the variable A. Here 0 means I am taking the variable B. Here 0 means I am taking the variable C. Next one here A plus B plus C bar. Okay. Here a plus B bar plus C. Here uh, A plus B bar plus C bar. Here 1 0 0. A bar plus B plus C. Here 1 0 1. So here A bar B C bar. Next one 1 1 0. So that is A bar plus B bar plus C. Next one, 1, 1, 1. That is A bar plus B bar plus C. A bar plus B bar plus C. Okay. So how we are representing the possible number of max terms and the corresponding sum term. Okay. In this way, uh, we have to differentiate min term and max term. Now, what are the main differences between min terms and max terms? Okay. So, min term contains only product terms. So, max term contains only sum term. A min term is a product term which contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. A max term is a some term which contains all the variables of a given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form. So, max term contains only some terms. Okay. So, common point possible number of uh, min terms is equal to 2 power n where n is nothing but number of variables in a given function. Here also number of max terms are possible 2 power n where n is the number of variables in the given function. Okay, so this is the description about what is min term, what is max term and how we are representing the min terms, how we are representing the max terms. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. 
If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Thank you.